We have new Superman news. That's not speculation. It's, it's actually a thing. It's a thing that's happened and it's being reported on by me right now. According to, I think this is Collider, James Gunn's Superman legacy cast is Clark Kent and Lois Lane. It's a new era for the DCU. That's the, that's the tagline. By Diego Peralta. This looks to be in, I can only imagine that's nine point font. That's just way too small. Can we pump it up to at least 11? All right, we have a nice Superman logo. This looks like the Superman logo from Superman Returns. Just that That's just something I want to point out for no reason. All right, a new iteration of Man of Steel is on its way as David Corrin Sweat. David Corrin Sweat? That's not a great name. Has been cast as Superman in James Gunn's Superman Legacy. The actor will portray the world's most famous superhero in the upcoming franchise, leading the blah, 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 blah. Added to that, Rachel Brosnahan. Brosnahan. Are these names? Rachel Brosnahan, star of the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Miss Maisel, I apologize. She's single. Has been cast as Lois Lane, an intelligent journalist from the Daily Planet and Clark's love interest in case there's someone that's only been alive for a day on this planet and didn't know that. The duo will bring their own voice to the characters. Oh, well that's, that's it. I always love when these articles, no matter where it's at, just have to populate the page with bullshit text. So they're like, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna put their own spin on the character. They're gonna play it differently than in the past. I would just once like to see an article that says, they're going to play the characters exactly like the previous versions were. He is going to fully 100% channel <laughs> the last guy. <laughs> I already forgot his name. The guy that played the Witcher but doesn't play him anymore either. What the hell is he going to do for work coming up? Henry Cavill, what are you going to be doing soon? While we know the release date of Superman Legacy, uh, don't make me click on another thing to find out the date. It'll change anyways. And that it will feature Clark trying to balance his life as a young journalist and as a powerful Kryptonian warrior. Very little else has been shared about the upcoming project. Now, for those of you that didn't know because you were born yesterday, he was from the planet Krypton. Superman's actually an alien. He's not from Earth originally. I... This is why you come to the channel. Subscribe for more insight. He looks like Henry Cavill. 10 years prior, 10 years Richard Pryor, and I believe this actor is 29, Cavill's 39. Or maybe it's 27 and 37. You come here for kind of facts as well. Subscribe for kind of facts. He looks like mini Henry Cavill. And I believe he's 6'4". Henry Cavill pretends to be 6'1". I'm joking. Cavill's probably 6'1". Why would he, why would he lie about that? Here is the new Lois Lane. She's cute. She's very white. That makeup is very strong. Or is her skin that porcelain? Holy crap. I like my Lois with a tan. So can we get her airbrushed or out in the sun for a little while? Dear God. I don't know anything about this woman. I never watched uh, Miss Maisel because I'm not a 11 year old girl, but I'm sure it's uh, a wonderful show. Now, now I give my expert opinion on this as a uh, certified Rotten Tomatoes movie critic. I still love that I'm certified on Rotten Tomatoes. How embarrassing for them. <laughs> Adam Olinger, what's he done? Well, let's check out his YouTube channel. It's, and I'm doing like the dick dance. Oh, okay. So Rotten Tomatoes is just letting anyone be certified at this point. They've run through everybody else on the internet. And like Adam's literally the only person that put in his application. Approved. Here's my thoughts. <clears throat> I don't really care. I have faith in James Gunn. In James Gunn I trust. He hasn't let me down with the movie yet. James Gunn has given me three great Guardians of the Galaxy movies. A nice little Christmas special. He's given me Slither, which is a great horror thriller. He's given me Super, which is a nice little indie nugget. So I have no reason to doubt that he can do a fantastic Superman legacy. These characters look the part as long as Lois gets a tan. I'm fine with her. 
I don't really have anything else to say. I'm sure this kid's going to hit the gym. He's going to hit the roids. He's 6'4", so he's going to be a towering, sculpted piece of art by the time this movie comes out, and I'll be in the theater day fun. So there you have it. My thoughts on Superman Legacy. I'm sure you have your own. I would love to hear them. And I'll, as always, subscribe.